Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my YouTube channel here in NHL 25 at Madison Square Garden, New York. GM Thumbs has returned to the NHL to take over the New York Rangers. This isn't going to be a fleshed out rebuild in the slightest. We are here to win in New York. Our first championship since 1994. Get out of here, Chris Drury. GM Thumbs is here to bring gold, or might I say silver, back to New York. Let's just jump into this. Today, we're literally just going to be looking at franchise mode. I have not touched it. I got this game early. I didn't have a microphone cord. It was a whole uh, kerfuffle. Let's let's use that word. And I'm looking at everything for the first time. And here we are in NHL 25 for the first time. There's a lot of new stuff. And I kind of just want to look at everything today. We're not going to sim. Uh, a lot of overalls are really wrong. We haven't gotten the opening update of this season. Uh, the rosters are in shambles. I just want to take a look at the general direction of the New York Rangers. And I think everybody can agree uh, that is one place. Um, we're going to get there. We're going to get to the roster in this video. We're going to look at it. We're going to see if you have any suggestions. I've missed each and every single one of you. It's been long enough. But NHL 25 has dragged me out of the basement to bring a championship Back to New York. Uh, menu list. Uh, all this stuff. Lots of stuff. W where, 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 where do I start? Let's go to the calendar. I, I really like. I really like the way it's set up. Oh, love that the New York logo is in the background. That's really, really pretty. You have the basic calendar. Uh, not sure how quick simming is. I'm. I'm just literally just gonna test it. We're gonna go back. Owner goals, uh, I doubt I'm going to have the owner mode on when I officially start this. Uh, but uh, nothing seems to have changed with that. I guess I could have checked that. I No, I really don't care. With coach, oh, I have a conversation. This looks kind of the same. Uh, I'm a little scared how dialogue heavy franchise mode seems to be but that might be thrown into the garbage and we we might just have that automated player morale because this could get really bad <laughs> really quick uh i don't really want to talk to you right now i'll, I'll come back to that uh thanks thanks brindamore uh, not the good brindamore uh, a different brindamore uh looks to be uh same speed nice little shutout there uh for the new york rangers doesn't count uh, let's, okay, let's just look at the matchup. Let's take a look at this screen. I love what we're seeing to the right. A lot of information. I know we've asked for this. I can't help but to say it looks cluttered in my brain. I'm sure everybody disagrees. I can't lie. I really, I really, I like it though. I like the dysfunction because there's so much information that we can use. And that's going to help so much. Telling the story of the New York Rangers in NHL 25. I'm so I'm excited to take over a team I absolutely despise. Chris Kreider, you watch your back or you're going to be on the streets with the rats and you're not going to be the rat king. I'll be damned. Okay. Uh, matchup. Oh, am I supposed to go over to the... Oh, I... Oh, you press this and it takes you to all the... St uh, okay. So if we just look... So I thought it was going to open it up. That would have been... I guess it does. So, team leaders. Uh, that's really cool. That's so... That's so cool. Because could we, like... Advance day and just watch it like this? Oh, that's gonna help so much for storytelling. Like, genuinely. Like, you just keep going. Thank you, Philadelphia. Uh, it looks to be the same simming speed. Don't like how the matchup screen has to update every single... Like, glitch out and update... I, I, I'm not going to complain too much because this is all so new and I love it and I'm going to be happy for at least 
two, three years. I don't really care about GM Connected. I really just want the custom players or just generated players to have the freaking picture up. But I'm not going to complain this early. We're not going to yell. We're not going to scream. We're just going to enjoy something new because it's been a minute. It has been a hot second. Uh, if I go to Stats Central... Oh, yeah, so it's kind of... It all kind of takes you to the same place. Oh! I can press left left bumper, right bumper. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. So if I advance a day while I'm on this, will it stay on that screen? It will. Okay. I like that. That's really cool. Team leaders. So you have forward pull. Ooh, they got a split. They got a split. I really like that. No, that just gives you a general... No, I, I, I just a general sense of how's it, how, how it's going. Uh, league leaders, uh, Vladimir Tarasenko, uh, the obvious choice for league leader. Uh, <laughs> eight points and well, it's the preseason. That that checks. Uh, yeah, I, I I really like that. And then the starting goaltender matchup. That's this is this is really awesome. And I know I'm just I know I'm just talking about the same things over and over again but if you've watched me before that's kind of just what i do that that that's just just how it is uh let's go to stat central have we changed the look of anything uh i i can't lie i love the logo on the back just transparent and i think that that feels so any that feels so last generation uh I guess two generation ago, uh, ago of the uh, console, PS3, like that, like NHL 14 and uh, under. Just, I did they have that last game? It doesn't feel like it. That's really cool. I really, really like that. They added any extra stats? Uh, no, but I know when you go to a player, uh, they have all their... Oh, that's so... I can't lie, I'm, I'm, I'm really giddy. And I haven't been giddy for an NHL video game in a long time. And, and I hope you feel exactly the same way because I, I've waited to open this game up. Oh, technical difficulties make it hard to enjoy life sometimes. Uh, yeah, I'm super, yeah, I'm super happy with this so far. Uh, I know a lot of it's going to be exactly the same. I'm really, I'm really happy so far about the... The setup, the morale, this is a big question. I, I think I'm going to leave it on to start the season. Uh, meetings available with everybody. Uh, it might get gross. Gross? It might get really boring really, really quickly. But we'll test that out in the first legitimate episode. And if it's boring, to the curb. Uh, coaching staff uh, looks looks kind of the same i'm sure there's lots of things you're yelling and screaming about that you want to see and yelling like oh my god you're looking at that no look at this look at that this is exactly the same i hope they pay attention to that next year that would be really cool conversations okay so most immediate conversations that's really cool yeah i'm not doing that for every player <laughs> absolutely not uh so, okay, so everything's here. This is going to take a minute to get used to. So episodes are definitely going to be uh, a lot longer. Uh, franchise overview. Uh, this looks exactly the same. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Literally tell me if I'm missing anything at all in the comments. I'm sure you will. You guys love to do that. And that's why I love you. You're my scouts. Your thumbs assistants. Assistant. GMs. Only if you're smart, though. And you're always smart. You know who you are. Yeah, you know. Uh, I'm assuming all of these look exactly the same. Yes. I, just, I like it. Ooh, captains of jerseys. It's just more uh, streamlined. I, I really, really like that. Am I glazing? Is this what this is classified as? Why did I use that? I'm too old to use that term. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm sure I'll yell about EA. Uh, negatively pretty damn soon because you know Igor Shosturkin is not going to hold that save percentage. Will goaltenders be good this year? I'm sure I'll find out r really, really damn soon. Uh, if you draft class, uh, this looks really similar. Uh, 
yes, I know a lot of the prospects are all over the place. I'm going to wait for a really good roster to come out, edit a little bit, and then we have a franchise to begin. Uh, draft board, I'm going to assume every single one of these are kind of the same. Uh, contracts, no move clauses. I have not even looked at this yet. I haven't looked at it. And I, I think this is where we talk about the New York Rangers. Has Cla Oh, folks. Where do we start? I, I, I think we start with our franchise goaltender. Uh, well, we'll <laughs> yes, Louis, Louis Domingue. Uh, Louis? Oh, God. Get ready for my mispronunciation. Folks, it has just begun. Uh, Louis Domingue. I'm going to say that because he's French. Uh, Igor Shosturkin, our franchise goaltender. An absolute beauty. But at the end of this year, he needs a contract. And that is a storyline for the New York Rangers. There are plenty of really damn important contracts ending year one for the New York Rangers and it's GM Thumb's job to capitalize with this core and win. We might not have a lot of players at the end of this season. We've moved things and we've upgraded. We've downgraded. I don't really know. I don't really know where this season's going to take us because this, this is a whole new challenge. No move clauses. He has a modified 10-team uh, no-trade. That's so cool. I, I'm like, 22 teams? That doesn't sound like 10. These are the tradable teams. Uh, does he want to go to Canada? He does. That would be a really funny thing if most of the players didn't want to go to Canada. It's not like... <laughs> that, that, I just... That, we hear that a lot. Yeah, I don't want to go to Winnipeg, Ottawa, Buffalo. Buffalo's in... Not Canada. I was trying to make... It's been a while since I've... Don't listen to me. Igor Shosturkin is the guy. Now, we know, we know, if you've played an NHL video game before, goaltenders are what? They are voodoo. I want Igor Shosturkin to be a part of, the, a, a, part of a championship in New York. If we couldn't do it for Henrik, we're going to do it for the next best thing. The thing that is driving this team, it's Igor Shosturkin. Yeah, you have your Adam Fox, you have your Artemi Panarin. Igor Shosturkin is the last line of defense, and he, he is the guy. I don't think there's any question. There isn't. I'm sorry, who's making a case for Jonathan Quick? It, it, it's Igor Shosturkin. He's the guy. One year left, though. I don't even want to look at his extension. We're going to save that for the first actual episode. Reports are he... 10? I think those are the current reports. And that is money I am not going to spend on a goaltender. I'm going to say that right now. Jonathan Quick, though. How can you not love Jonathan Quick? He's been around forever. He wants another championship. He's a fine backup for the New York Rangers. He's actually above average. He won he won 18 games last year. What what a weird weird career for Jonathan Quick. Two championships trying to add a third. Is he the backup? He has a modified no trade. This is going to add so much chaos. <laughs> a mod of the no move clock. I haven't even begun to think of the things that we are going to get ourselves into with that. I'm so excited for that. Uh, in the system for goaltenders, uh, Domingue, uh, Garand. That sounds French-Canadian. And I'm not even going to try. Don't make me try. You sound Western-Canadian. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go to... Uh, let's go to the defense. Of course, we have... Adam Fox, 5'11", offensive defenseman. He usually tends to win the Norris in franchise mode. I guess we'll see this year, but if he's on our team, he better put up those points because, God, I'm sure that trade value is delicious. I'm not saying I'm trading him because 9.4, yeah, he's never leaving New York. 
never, ever, never, ever, ever. Uh, he's staying right here. He's the cornerstone of this defensive core. And after that, you have some pretty solid talent. And, and I think you're asking yourselves, well, why is GM Thumbs come to Madison Square Garden to take over a team that could win in the simulation, potentially the actual Stanley Cup this year as well? Because they, they remind me of so many different teams that, that get so close like the St. Louis Blues before they won their championship, or, or the Boston Bruins before they won their championship. This team has every bit of championship caliber they could possibly want. They have a franchise goaltender, they have a franchise defender, and they have multiple elite forwards. And we'll get into them. But this team doesn't need a lot of tweaking. It just needs something. I'm not totally sure what that something is, though. Because if you look at this defensive core, you look at it and you're like, well, that's, yeah, I mean, maybe a sixth defenseman. I, I have a feeling, though, this might not be a, a quick franchise mode because we are going until we win that championship, folks. Okay, Andre Miller, oh, he, he might be a, a part of that. Uh, 86 overall. Uh, overalls are, are absolutely expected to change. Adam Fox is probably going to go up. A lot of different things are going to happen. K. Andre Miller, 24 years of age. That is another contract ending at the end of the season. So two defensemen here are ending. Uh, Jacob Truba. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, we need to. Oh, modified? I need to get. Yeah, that's so much money. That's so much money. But he's the captain. I forget Jacob Truba's the captain of New York. I don't know how I feel about that. How do I feel about that? How does New York feel about that? I'm feeling a lot, lot, a lot of different things. Uh, Ryan Lindgren. Another contract ending. He's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah, it, it, it is a very interesting year in New York. At least year one. Year one into year two are such... Vital years, and you know the computer's going to screw it up. GM Thumbs is not. Uh, Braden Schneider, another phenomenal defenseman. Just a really solid defensive core. We're, we're right there. We're on championship store. We're, we're, we're doorstep. We're right there. We're right there. In the system, eh, you got a whole lot of nothing. You got uh, Matthew Robertson here, who was drafted. Uh... I was going to say, oh, recently. That's five years ago, Owen. Holy moly. Okay, so then we move on to our forwards. Uh, I, I guess we can... Let's let's go... Uh, let's start with our centers. We'll go, we'll go position to position. Mika Zabinijad. His contract is not up for a long time. Same with Vinny Trocek. I, I also can't... I can't help but to say this clause bit... Gets me so confused. Not not because it's a no no move clause, because my immediate my brain says because of previous games, oh his contract's ending because I see a red thing here. No. No, Owen. There's a red thing there. Gotta use that noggin, okay? A decent top nine here for centers. Mika Zabinajad, Vincent Trocek, and then uh, you got Philip Heedle. Mm, yes, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm gonna get lambasted in the comments, aren't I? After that, I mean, you got you got uh, Johnny Brodziak. No, that is not. We are off to such a hot start. <laughs> Brod Brodzinski. Yeah. Uh, Sam Carrick. Uh, ben All. Sure. Uh, Matthew Rempe. Uh, Rempe. Holy smokes, I am, I mean, it wouldn't be a GM Thumbs franchise mode without me butchering names left and right. Like, just very basic names, too. I'm sure you'll get used to it. They're not even European. Not as, I guess, I got all the European names right. Maybe not you. And for centers, we're kind of, we're locked down. But it's aging. They're not going to be, I mean, another two years, they're kind of, 
third to the corner as well. So in the system, uh, you don't have a lot. This team is kind of barren. Now, I'm not totally sure about the uh, the New York Rangers' actual prospect pool. Uh, I believe it's it's probably middle of the tier. Uh, mi middle of the tier. Good stuff, Owen. It's probably middle of the road. Because they're so good, they've had to give up assets. But I, I know... I know the Rangers always want to be between both. They want to be competitive, and they always want things coming up. And that isn't always realistic, because we don't have a lot of parts to give so far in our depths, and I'm not sure we're going to have a lot. Uh, and then you have a 95 overall. Not sure that's going to stay like that, though. He did have... Um, how many points you have left? You had it... I kind of forgot that I I can't lie folks I'm a little out of the loop when it comes to hockey uh, lots of life stuff going on uh, but I promise you I will be back right into the fold because the New York Rangers management demanded and Owen uh, GM thumbs is obligated to win New York a championship or he'll be thrown in uh, New York water <laughs> just on the street what do we what do they call the water next to New York man hat I'm so sorry New York why am I having such a terrible yeah no we're just gonna continue uh there's why am i getting stuck on water we're here to talk about the, the rangers oh my god uh speak oh you speak a dirty water you speak a dirty dirty new york water you think of chris Kreider now gosh diggity damn that's a solid player right there i will never forgive him though and i think that's why i've taken this challenge here in New York, GM Thumbs, they, they know, everybody knows, everybody knows my hate for Chris Kreider. What you did to Carey Price in 2014 is unforgivable. But if you win a championship here for me, well, maybe we can talk after that, Chris. He's 33, though. 87 overall power forward. I mean, he's locked down as well. For, I mean, a, a decent contract as well. Uh, oh, so much money, so many monies. Oh my goodness, Alexis Lafreniere, another contract ending. Holy moly, there's so many. They're all ending and they're all important. How much? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at how much extension. Oh, offer contract. Oh right, enter negotiation. I forgot that's the thing. We're gonna have to look. Uh. I'm not going to read those readings for readings for prisoners, as I've said. Uh, what am I trying to look at? Extension dot. Does it tell it tell us how much money we have? Extension remaining 20 mil. Okay. Oh, it might be a rough off season, huh? We have to think about Lafreniere. Is his overall going down? Probably. You let me know your thoughts on the New York Rangers and how overalls are working or what's missing. What do we absolutely need before the season begins? Oh, Lafreniere. I want you to be good, but you've been kind of me... Not... I don't want to say mediocre. But, you know, you're getting to that point as a first overall pick where you, you gotta do the thing. And I, I think I can get that out of him. Or he's gone. Or he's gone so quick. Because we, we need all the money we can get. Uh, Will Cully. I'm gonna say that. I have no idea who this human being is. Not not a single... Yeah, I... Pretty solid, I can't lie. Uh, another contract ending. And then, you can't forget about Jimmy VC. NCAA legend. Uh, former Toronto Maple Leaf. Uh, I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I'm obsessed with Jimmy VC right now. Just a really nice name. And another contract ending. Uh, and if we look in the system for left wingers. Uh, oh yeah. Brendan Othman's overall for sure has got to go up. Right? Yeah. First overall pick. Okay. 
already through. Oh my god, what year is it, folks? Uh, then you have Brett uh, Berard in the minors. Not a whole lot. Oh, I need you. Dylan Ruber... Huh? Rubroek. Ruberek. Sure. So many names. I, I don't know who any of... The Do you know who this guy is? If you know who this guy is, leave a comment l letting me know you know who Nathan Aspinall is. Aspinall? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's go to right wingers. In the NHL, you got Riley Smith, who I... B didn't Vegas just... I thought Vegas let him get and then to Pittsburgh and then he signed as a free agent? I believe. All right, he just won with Vegas. Oh, he's a... Oh, I can kind of forgot... No, Vegas won two years ago. Florida just won the championship. He won on floor. No, he didn't. Am I? What is... Riley Smith, you've been everywhere. Why do I think you've played in every... Si because I... He's always floating around in franchise mode. That's why I think he's played everywhere. Let's talk about... Another contract ending. They're all ending this year. That's exciting. That is so damn exciting for this team and for this franchise mode. That's exactly why I picked the New York Rangers. I had, I did my, my opinions on picking them for my first team for a short franchise mode. Hopefully cross your fingers, folks. Uh, I, I didn't waver from them because I, similar to my Toronto Maple Leafs franchise mode a couple years ago, this team needs that chips and dip. And I think I'm the man to deliver. I think I, I think I'm the guy to finally bring it home to New York. First since '94. We need that championship. Is Capo Caco a part of that run? I don't know. I want him to be because I love his name, and and I, I just I, I'm a sucker for a Finnish pl person, player. I Finnish people are awesome too. The hockey players are, are just above the rest. I love you, Capo Caco. I don't care what they say about you. You're important to me. And I want him to be here. But for how much? That's There's a lot of play. There's so many contracts ending. And we're going to look at how many are expiring. That sucks. In the system, uh, a whole lot of nothing. Except this guy. Yay, Adam Sir Sakura. Yeah, that's that sounds good, uh, and and that's and that's it for the New York Rangers. So I mean, like I mean, if if we look at just the forward core, they could definitely use something. Just maybe just a little bit of a younger, just stud in here. Maybe a defenseman. I'm not really sure. The real dilemma with this team is that every human being and their family and their third born are all expiring this year. On terms of importance, I would say anybody as an RFA will probably be back or traded. I know that's kind of, that's a very big gap, but... Guys like Riley Smith, I can absolutely see him out the door when he's when he's got. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna bring that back because he's probably gonna ask for like five. Maybe he moves down. I, I I'm really not sure how this season's gonna look for the New York Rangers, other than the fact we need to win. We need to win, and this is just the amount of forwards we could be potentially losing this season. For defensemen, y you have two big pieces who are both going to ask for solid money. A two-way defender, 24-year-old, and then a defensive defenseman is absolutely going to be taking home a big check. And, and I mean, then the biggest piece of them all, Jonathan, Jonathan uh, Igor Shosturkin, the biggest piece of this all, is on an expiring deal. That gives us an opportunity to mold this team whichever direction we want to go and one direction we absolutely will not be going is a rebuild 
Not in the slightest. We want to look to free agency. We want to look to trading. There is one place we want to go. And that is the Stanley Cup playoffs. Where the hell is Mr. Phil Kessel? Is he not here? Phil? Phil Kessel? Is he not? I guess we will have to look. Maybe he... Oh, he got signed because we're... Yeah, I forgot. Phil Kessel's coming to New York. I can guarantee that. Uh, if I go... Holy moly. Uh, if I go up to edit lines, I just want to see this. Our general team... I mean, you... That top line is dynamite. It, it, I can't lie. It does look a little thin in that bottom six, and that's where you need me. You need me. You need me, New York. You need me to make this team the next best version of itself. You need to evolve. You need to get that evolution and become the monsters. I know these rangers can be as long as we are helmed by that dude. Igor, I, I, need, you, I need you to be good, Igor. If you're not good, this everything kind of goes sideways. And then we'll get a 76 overall AHL fringe starter who wins the championship for us. Obviously. Yeah, this team needs work. I, I look at it. I see a lot of big players. And then a, a, a little thin. A little thin. And, and, and it doesn't seem like our uh, morale works on the defensive core too, too well. I guess we're going to have to look at that but right now we're not right now we're not at all i have a few questions for you as the viewer what do we add as the new york rangers going forward because i don't need to ask you what direction to go we are going for a championship either which way either which way we are attempting to win the Stanley Cup. But the real question is. Who stays? Who goes? Because if you look at the no. Look at how many no move clauses we have. All those big guys. Are kind of locked down. That is the. that This adds such a, a. Such a big layer to this game. That we have to take into consideration now. Do I want to sign players to no move clauses? I don't think that's a thing I want to do as a GM. Until we absolutely have to. And this team is chocked full of them. What do we do? What do we also have to change about the roster? What is absolutely egregious? What needs to be changed? I'm going to wait for a solid roster to come out with a bunch of prospects for the draft. It's not going to be pretty. This franchise mode is not going to be very long in the slightest. I want this I want this to be one and done. I want this to be one season. I want to win that championship. If this goes longer than 5 years, I I might I might cry a bit. Thank you guys so much for staying along. For this episode, uh, I'm going to end it by saying it's been a minute. It has been an absolute minute since I've recorded, sat down, and enjoyed making content. It's been a while since I've actually enjoyed making this. And getting a fresh new look at franchise mode, uh, really, it just it makes me happy. Because we're, we finally, we've gotten something to just kind of be excited for. I'm I'm really excited for NHL 25. And I, I hope you're excited to watch me because it's been a minute and I know I haven't given information and there, there won't be a lot and all I can say is that I'm here and I just want to make stuff and I, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share this with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I will see you in the 2024-2025 NHL season with your 
New York Rangers.